Hello everyone, in this video we're going to learn how to set up JSON as a database or server for an application. And you, I do this a lot if I'm just kind of testing something out and I don't want to set up a MongoDB or MySQL or anything like that. So I just use JSON real quick. So we're going to set that up. And let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to say make dir for our project and I'm going to say JSON DB hyphen server. So that will be our project folder. So I'm going to change into that. And then I'm going to create mpx create react app. And then I'm going to call the front end UI. And then while this is being created, we're just going to set up the server. So I'm going to go back into JSON DV server. And then I'm going to make another directory called server. So we've got our UI on our server. And we're just going to do the server for now first because you most likely don't need help with the UI. I'm going to do that anyway just in case you need the little extra hand holding. So anyway, let's go into our server directory, open up the code full or open up the project. And then we can go in and well let's create a package.json, so npm init hyphen y. Okay, so that's been created. And then now we can create a server or index.js file. And then in here, we basically need to create like a, a basic express server. So we're going to say const express equals require express. And then const HTTP equals require HTTP. We'll do app. App equals express. Const cores equals require cores. And then const, let's see here, server equals http.create server app. So this will be our actual server. And then we'll make a port equals process.env.port which will be from our environment variable or by default 3001. And then because we're using the environment variable, we'll do require dot env dot config. And then we can do server dot listen port and the function which just says listening so console.log listening on oh whoops i forgot the back ticks but anyway on port 3001 just because that's what we're going to use but anyway so now we can install these things so i'm going to save that and then go back over here and this is still running so I'm going to wait till it finishes because my computer is going very slow for some reason. Okay so the React app's done being created so let's go back to our server and we are going to have to install a couple packages so we have npm install express H I think HTTP, HTTP is built in so cores and then dot and I thought there was more, but eventually, well, let's just stick with that for now. Okay, and then let's say node mon index. I'm assuming you have. Okay, so listening on port 3001, so we're good there. Let's make an actual like request. So app dot get products and we'll say sync rec rest next and then we'll say console.log 
hello from products. So save. And then now if we go to a browser, localhost 3001 products. Hopefully it will work unless I messed up. Okay, it does say hello from products. So that is good. That's a sign that it's working. So now we just need to figure out how to actually use JSON as a database. And so that's actually super easy. All we have to do is create a JSON file. So we'll say new file and I'll call it like data.json. And in here we can just make some sample data. And so I'll show you how to add data as well or manipulate it, but we'll just start out with an empty thing. So I'm going to say ID one, two, three, and then title spoon. Okay. And then, well, let's do, let's copy it and then make another one of a fork. So one, two, four and fork save. Okay. So we have this data here and now we need to like update it or retrieve that information. So what we're going to do is we're basically just going to pull it in on the index file. So we can say something like const data equals re require data.json, the path to the data.json file. And then inside of basically anywhere, we can just say console.log our JSON DB has this data. And so I'm going to save that. And then if I look over here at our server logs, it says our JSON DB has this ID with title of spoon and ID of title of fork. So we're good to go there. But then on the next thing is we just need to be able to mutate our database. And so this comes with the file system. So we just have to say const FS equals require FS. And I'm pretty sure that's built in. And then from here, we can just say basically fs.write file and then the information that you want to do or want to have in the data.json file. So what that would look like is, I mean, typically you would put this in a post request, but I'm not going to worry about that because we're just going to, you know, I'm just demonstrating here. So what we would have to do is we'd say fs.write file data.json and then json.stringify and then whatever you're putting in there. So say, let's see, ID, you know what, uh, this is going to be a little bit more difficult. So let's just say const new data equals an array with objects. And I'm going to say ID one, two, three, title bowl. And then new data.json will have this new data array stringified. So new data. And then if there's an error, do this function. So if error, throw error. And then let's see, console.log done writing. Okay, so now let's save that. 
and then okay now it's going to do this over and over again because nodemon is seeing this data.json file being changed and so then it's rewriting it and then it restarts and then it does it again so you may want to do this only in a in a get request or a post request but let's I hit control C to cancel that and if you look at the data.json we have mutated the data so that's a good sign and that's that's pretty much everything that you need to know all we need to do is just put this fs.write file in a post request so I mean typically you're not going to make a mutation in a get request but let's just put it in here and so then we can save that and then if we run this it's only going to mutate the data when we run or when we call this slash product route and that's basically it the json file gets imported as an array of objects and if you want to read that data then you just need to run the code to find the items from the json file that you're looking for if you're wanting to mutate or change the JSON file, then create an array with the new version of the data that you want and pass that new version of data to fs.write file, which is what we did in the get request, which is supposed to be done in the post request, but you know, this is just a tutorial, so it's no big deal. But in REST, reading data goes in get requests and mutations go in post requests. With GraphQL, you'd put reading of the data in query resolvers and writing of the data in mutation resolvers. I didn't want a simple video to be 20 minutes long, so I created the full repository where React UI is connected to the server and queries for existing JSON data. Again, if you want to mutate, then just make a post request on the server that mutates the JSON file with fs.write file. So I hope this was helpful, and check out this repository that should be linked in the description if you want a full example. So that's it. Have a good day. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified when we release new tutorials. Also, be sure to like the video and leave a comment to let us know what you think. Lastly, check out the link or links in the description. We usually create a blog post to go with the tutorial, and we might have a newsletter or course or something to check out as well. Have a good day, and I'll see you next time.